My son Justin is angry, he's an alcoholic, and he's addicted to marijuana. He has very real mental illness. When he does drink, his personality changes and he scares me. Justin and his girlfriend are so out of control that I fear for the safety of them and for my grandchildren. Justin and Hannah fight daily. Yesterday, when we were getting ready for all this stuff, everything I did was, I'm a I'm a When Justin gets angry, he gets very close in your face. He will say, what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? You know, like he'll, he'll puff up. Justin has been arrested at least 12 times for drug driving, possession of marijuana, assault on a police officer, a nurse, assault on me. I think the safest place for Justin is jail. Justin and Hannah are not healthy enough at this time to raise their children. Their children have gone without formula and diapers. Their house is messy. The kids aren't bathed as often as they should be. I am 100% sure that Justin is emotionally and verbally abusive to Hannah. I am 90% sure that he's physically abusive. He has put his hands on her and given her a black eye. A month ago, Justin was arrested for drunk driving. I asked Hannah, if you got your kids taken away from you due to Justin's behavior and drinking, would that be enough for you to leave him? After that, they filed a restraining order against me. I don't think Justin and Hannah should be together at all. I fear that Justin could take his own life, my grandchildren's life, and he could even take Hannah's life. Okay, I'm glad you're here. Ha tell me about the children that are in the home with Justin and Hannah. There are two children in the home? There's two kids in the home. Four and one? Four and one. They're in the home in the midst of all this chaos. Yes. And you know that. Yes. And you've done what about it? Um, I'd have to say not, not enough and not much. Okay, so you're either part of the problem or you're part of the solution. And it seems to me you're part of the problem because you're not doing anything about it. I 100% agree with that. In fact, you're financing it so it can go on. And then you say he's been arrested 10 times and had three uh, drunk driving citations. So the court system, the judges are part of the problem. They're not holding him accountable. They're turning him back out, letting him continue to drive. No, <laughs> no. They are trying to hold him accountable, but he's continued to drive without a license. I mean, he's not, since his license was taken, he's never had it returned. Did, did, he have a, did he have a drunk driving incident with no license? Yes, absolutely. But this last yet one. he's walking around right now. Absolutely. Okay, so how are the judges not part of the problem? Because I would put his ass under the jail. A hundred. Now, Chris says she hasn't talked to Justin or the grandchildren for three weeks, so you don't know what's going on, I right? have no idea. No idea. Okay. Now, supposedly, he filed a restraining order on you. Yes. Have you seen it? Nope. Have you called the court to verify it? Nope. He just told you? Yep. And so you're behaving in accordance as Absolutely. you would if there was a restraining order? Absolutely. So that's all you got to do to get you out of the way is just tell you there's a restraining order on you. Um, that yeah. way you're not checking on the children, you're right. not monitoring his behavior, you're not seeing whether or not, because you're the one objective view in this to see whether or not anything's going on. Right. So just tell you, hey, there's a restraining order on you, so pack your ass out of here. Right. Okay. Would you be surprised to know there is no restraining order on you? Not surprised at all. Was pretty sure that there wasn't. But yet you behaved as though there was. Yes. Okay, I'm putting you in the column as part of the problem here. 